friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to another Inspired to Create prompt page. Where's my thing? Here's my thing right here. Where's Frank? Oh, here's Frank. We are in October and this is actually week three prompt. Of course I'm late. It's just, I. it's my new time frame, right? So week three, I don't know when you're watching this. I hope you play along. So Melissa over at Messy Missy Creates, uh, and I came up with a challenge basically for ourselves at the beginning of the year for a word prompt weekly. They are all listed down below in the playlist for Inspired to Create. And we take the word and use each letter as a prompt. If you'd like to play along, we'd love to have you. Please use the hashtag and then tag us so we can see it. I, I absolutely love like all of your creativity and the prompts that you guys sometimes use. I think they are amazing. So um, <laughs> this is a long one, two, four, six, eight, nine letters. I know, I think we've had another nine letter one, but I'm telling you what, this is my piece of paper. This is the size of my book I put it in. You can see, like, it's not even gonna fit as a tag. Normally I just kind of make a tag and slide it behind my page. It's clearly not gonna fit. So I think I'm gonna like fold it in the middle and do something else. I have no idea. Okay, let's... um. Let's see. I have some stuff out on my desk, obviously. I have no, no idea where this page is going. I'm hoping to do it. Um, okay, here's my little cheat word list that I, I think I came up with. So again, here's the page we're working on. I like to build it just because it's flat. I put it into my Creative Daily Journal, so it's not a flat surface. Okay, so for A, I want to do an ad. Now, you guys, I've done... Um, I just went through the list of words and we have done almost every letter, which is super cool. Um, so I think I've done ad before. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've done ad before, but I do have some, uh, magazines here and I thought we'd find an ad. Okay. So, uh, that will be a for W I'm gonna use some wrapping paper. Now I went up and um, dug through my tub really fast and I came up with, again, I have no idea what we're doing. I know we're not doing a pink sparkle page. We just, I just made the tag, I just made the word in that, right? It never matches my word. Okay, so I found some wrapping paper. Again, I have no idea what color scheme we're going for. I found some plain orange, which duh, that'll work. I don't know what we're doing, but it's my favorite. I did find kind of this um, spiral thing. I found some cool metallic silver, almost alligator, if you will, and a piece of seashell. So I thought that gives us a wide variety of things to play with. And so I thought we would make something work from there. I'm assuming I might go with something one of the plain ones, the silver or the orange, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. For A, I went through my Happy Mail drawer and I found the sweet pocket letter from Kylie. And um, these are all from Australia. So I think I've used um, I've used a lot of the stuff that she sent me, but I thought like the whole thing came from Australia. So that gives me free reign to use, you know, anything in here. And so I thought that would be fun because that's a prompt I haven't used is Australia, right? So we're going to use something from the sweet, adorable pocket letter. Okay. R, I, I, I don't know yet. I'm stuck on R. <laughs> R. I don't know. My go-to is a recipe. I had a recipe card out here and I thought, I just feel like I use that I know I've used it a couple times. So I could push the limit a little bit. Like I'm looking right here. This is a um, piece of a ledger, if you will, that I cut off. I use the rest of it. But this could be a register of items, if you will, right? So we might do that. We could use um, round or ring, like a, a stamp, a round stamp. I have one. Is it anywhere close to me? No, um, I know we have like, I'm just looking down here in my little stamp box that's down by my feet to see 
because I used to have a little stamp right here that was a round ring. Um, and of course, I put it away. I know. That's silliness. Silliness, Allison. I have another thing of stamps that... Okay, I'm just looking in my supplies because I thought I'd bring you along for some of this. I know sometimes we, uh, you know, have everything ready. Well, some of you have things ready. Like this is round. We could do this. This is rings, like little bubbles, rings. We could, I could use that. That would be fun. This is the... Uh, stamp bucket I got like the grab bag if you will I've separated out some of them I put back you know some of the letter stamps we could use the letter R we could use I normally go to a quote there's a rabbit or a bunny um not seeing anything I I actually really like this well I'll leave both of these out for round okay so that's one idea for R here is my other little bucket that I have at my feet and this has die cuts in it. It has all the, oh, look at that fun envelope. That definitely needs to be used this month with the black inside. Okay, these are all the numbers that sweet Melissa cut me out. Is she not over the top? I love it. Um, I have my die cuts in here, but they're like, I'm trying to think, oh, ooh, look right there. Look right there at round and rings. That's fun. See, this is why you go through your stuff. These were gifted to me. These are not my die cut. Um, I'm trying to think of words, right? Like, obviously, this is what? A butterfly, but it could be an insect, right? I think we went through this before. Um, flowers. That's a wave. Um, and then I have... I don't know. Oh, oh, that, that one's mine. This one's my die cut. Look at that. Round rings. Look at, okay, we're getting this one out. Okay, super cool. See, that's why you go through your stuff right there. That's a good example. Um, some clear envelopes. Okay, let's, these are the letters. I actually want these in the front. Okay, and then I had scraps by color in here. This is, these are round also. Okay, we have lots, see, uh, lots of options for R now, round rings. I'm just looking really quickly. Now here is a round leaf wreath, right? We could use wreath for W, but um, I'm happy with those other rounds. And uh, let's see, I'll just put that in front. This... <laughs> is my like favorite die cut I think. I've cut all of these out of magazine paper and they completely are not flat. They are so uh, thin, they get very tangled. So I have them in a box at not an envelope. So that's that little container of stuff. Okay, that's exciting. We could use uh, ribbon for R. I know we've used ribbon before, but I really like round. I, we have some options here. Okay, that's exciting. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me with that. We'll put round this silly pen um, does not do it justice. Okay, we're going to use round or or rings. Um, not the ring that goes on your finger, but like ring. Okay, E again. E. Okay, so down here I'm going to use emboss for this E. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping I don't have to emboss. I have this piece, which I've used very recently. I just embossed it. So I'm hoping, so that would be, see if you have a piece that you definitely are gonna use, I have other embossed pieces. I'm gonna get this one out. But if you have a piece you're definitely gonna use, this would start determining my color scheme, right? Okay, so this one is embossed. This E, I don't know. Um, I, of course, have envelope because I found this sweet little envelope from Sweet Deidre that she sent me a while ago in Happy Mail. Look at this. Now see, we start to have, we start to have somewhat of a color. So I might take these out. She cut all these out of a magazine. Is that not amazing? Okay, um, 
<laughs> and they were kept so nicely in that little envelope. I've only used like two of them. So I'll put this back in my Happy Mail drawer and that little envelope will probably get used. So look at that. I guess we'll use envelope again. It's, um, I know, I know it's my go-to. Now we could use a color like Ecru, which I've used. Um, I will tell you we're getting through the end of the year and a lot of these are being used again. Okay. So emboss and envelope, I think I have there. Um, N is notepad. Now I got out a couple. These are just like, um, I have more. These are samples, right? Okay. E is emboss. I already showed you that. So S we have stars. I have these sweet little stars that I just love. They just, you guys, this reminds me of my childhood. I used to walk down to the little shopping street, um, and they had, you know, all sorts of stores, like little local stores um, in our town. And one of them was a teacher supply store, which of course was my favorite because it had all the paper and the stickers and the whatever markers. And, and I used to buy little boxes of stars like this. Isn't that sweet? 15 cents. Uh, anyway, uh, stars. Uh, I do have some sequins, which is harder for me to use. I do have a scorecard, which is cool. And I thought we could just use scraps of paper. Gosh knows I could fill it from my desk, right? I just got this out as a scrap. Like we have all sorts of scraps of paper literally right here on my desk that we could, we could use. This is, I'm just re reaching right here in front of me. I, I have all of this scraps of paper, right? There's a heart. <laughs> um, so we could use scraps of paper. And I also have these little stamps that came from Happy Mail from one of you. So that's, that's where we're at, folks. That's where we're at. I can tell you some of it pulls my attention and some of it doesn't. Um, this I had in there um, as an ad, like it was on the front of a magazine, obviously. But I'm not liking it and I'm not liking the color, so I'm just going to put it in my my box here. So, um, I think we need to find an ad. Now we have the option. We have some bling. See this? And I have the silver wrapping paper. We could definitely, you know, make this, uh, like, wow, that's, that's a lot. It's a lot going on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm just thinking, sorry, that was my brain literally just taking a moment. Um, the other option, I don't, I don't feel like this one is going to make the cut. I don't know, like just color wise and stuff. I'm not too sure. It's so pretty though. I mean, we could obviously pull a piece like just a seashell off of it, right? That's, I guess, still an option. This one's definitely um, maybe closer to some of, you know, even, even if I just go like that, some of these scraps kind of make that work. Right. So that, that makes my eye happy. And, and I just don't think the sequins are going to make the cut. That's, I guess what I'm trying to get to. I do think that I will pull out some more embossed paper though, because I have it right here in my scrap drawer. And, um, we, we have some, other, it won't be the purple either. I can, I can tell you that, um, we'll just put the purple there. Um, I don't want to go emboss a new piece of paper. So this is what we're working with. Now, some of these, you know, are double-sided. It's a little bit of a cheat, if you will. So we could use the white, um, and not have to match a color per se. Right. Um, see, yeah. And some of these I just emboss like onto journal paper. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Now see, that's fun. Look at that. Hmm. All right. So, I mean, we have stuff. I do have a seashell embossing plate. Um, but like I just said, I'm, I'm not 
going to get up and worry about that right now. Um, okay, so see, like just off of the wrapping paper, let's not forget I have the orange as well. Okay, so the reason if you have like a defining thing that you need to use it it determines kind of some of your other choices so that being said when I'm looking for an ad I need to know somewhat in my brain at least somewhat hmm of what I'm looking for now what I do know I'm looking for is something size wise that might fit on this page okay so we're gonna very quickly oh my gosh now see this would be a little bit of a cheat um well I guess that's not really an ad God, is that not gorgeous you guys absolutely stunning I don't actually know so see this would be <laughs> there's a little ad um hmm See, this is an ad, this pumpkin for the Pacific Northwest. Um, oh my gosh, but look at her. That I mean, I would not want to cut out that pumpkin because you would lose this whole graveyard thing. Um, now see, this is an interesting ad because... We could like cut her out. So let's, uh, if I was to choose anything, it would be this picture right here and we're gonna lose it anyway. So we're gonna cut the whole thing and do something like that. And then this is trash or recycle, okay. You guys, I always clarify like recycle because I know I've gotten comments before of like, um, why, why trash it? Why not recycle it? Or, you know, something like that. Um, these little guys are fun to me. I don't think they're going on this page, but I think that's hilarious. Okay. Um, here's a little ad, these little animals. All right. Let's see what else. Um, I obviously chose some words. I love this. Um, I've shown you this magazine before when we harvested it very, very quickly. I love the font. I love the color background and the color ink. I think it's very cool in this magazine. So I will go through this, you know, quite a bit. Now, here's an interesting ad because it has this really fun border. I mean, you could put an image right here, right? Um, and I'm not going to use the pumpkin pudding, pumpkin milk, maple syrup. Yeah, no, I am going to go upstairs and make myself a pumpkin smoothie in a little bit for lunch though. Yes. Yes, I am with my pumpkin flavored protein. Mm -hmm. Now, right here is a ring. Yes, it is. So if we were going to go with the bling, the silver, the silver, and the, look at this. I mean, we could make a glam page. I'm never going to use this. Um, the only issue is see where it cuts in a little bit right there, but we're going to, I'm going to pull it just for fun because we might make a page later. Love the muffins always. Um, chicken. This is recipes, not really ads. Look at that. Uh, Lots of fun ad. It's kind of big. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. I don't know, you guys. I don't I think she's too big for my page. Like literally. This is what we did last time too. I mean, she is legit the size of my page. Let's cut her out just for now see this is fun too. See the the 
it's like a cream font on some really cool writing or back color. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pull the page. We'll use it one way or the other. Maybe not on this page, but I really like that as a background. This is a fun add. Um, I just feel like that's fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what bucket that's going in. All right. Let's see. What else would you guys pull? We might not even have to go back to another. We might not have to go back to look at the sky. Another magazine. I thought maybe I'd go through a couple of them. But now we could use like the background, right? I mean, that's another fun one that has kind of like, oh my goodness, look at the cat. See, look at this. So cool. The drug and hobby store. Like, I don't know. We could use this. Um, boy, I feel like I would rather have that page. I have some other kind of vintage, and we have to cut around so much of it. I mean, yeah, no, I'm going to save it. Now, this is interesting because this could be, this could be fun. I think we have plenty of options here. I think we have plenty of options. Um, all right, let's, let's do it. Let's, um, oh, I was going to pull that, wasn't I? <laughs> this is so cool. Um, Hmm. I, my brain is all over the place. I kind of wanted this airplane. We can't have this as well as the airplane. So I will pull the whole page. We have plenty to choose from you guys. I got out, I got out a bunch of magazines and we don't need to go through more than that one. We have plenty of options. Look at the mess we made. Okay. Blah, blah. Okay. Let's, um, let's see. I am really liking this wrapping paper. Um, I think it's a lot actually, but I'm really liking it as opposed to like the orange, the orange might be easier. Do you guys like how I tore my wrapping paper? I literally unrolled it and just ripped it. I'm going to be very mad at myself later when we actually go to use the wrapping paper. But for today's purposes, I was not, uh, in the mood to cut it nicely. So we will do that for now. Um, it was obviously smushed. I think we, I don't even know what, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we do have orange. Hmm. Okay, so one of the things we might need to decide, she is ginormous. Like even if we get this to work somehow and the emboss thing, does she even fit on here? I'm going to cut her out and see. I'm not going to use this. It's too big. Okay. That just goes over here for now. Um, let's cut. Mm. Let's cut her out and then we'll see what we have saved on the other side and we'll salvage what we can. Okay. All right, there's her, mm, not much, we'll toss it. Okay, so this, this, this would be her. Now, so far, that all works, right? Like, um, I am working with this kitty cat thing, but we'll, you know, either cut it off or cover it or whatever. I mean, this would be, hmm. 
Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Okay, this obviously works color-wise as well. So I'm actually liking this piece of emboss. This is kind of what I was uh, playing with. My other option, I mean, I have the other pile here of embossed papers, but I, I'm kind of liking this on this paper and more so than anything else that kind of catches my eye. This one's pretty. I think I'm going to pull that right now and put it in my November pile. Um, I mean, I could pull a bunch of these. I know. I don't know how my brain works, you guys. I just, because I could pull, you know, this for November and this for November. I don't know. Um, well, either with the orange or with this one, I like this color more than this. Now, it is pretty on the orange, but yeah. So I think maybe that one's not going to do it. Now, if we didn't use this, we could use this, but like this doesn't have to be a background. The wrapping paper does not have to be a background. This could be a background. Or like I said, we could just cut a piece out, but it doesn't seem to maybe go with the rest of the stuff going on here. And for whatever reason, I feel like, okay, I don't keep my wrapping paper in my craft room. So I had to go upstairs and get this from our wrapping paper station, which is under my bed <laughs> in the wrapping paper boxes. Uh, I'm going to, but I am going to keep these pieces. I'm going to keep them folded. I'm going to put them somewhere. I don't know where it makes sense in my brain right now for wrapping paper, but it's going to, so I have some pieces down here in the future is what I'm saying. I'm going to put, uh, where's my clip? The rest of this, oh, right here embossed paper away in my drawer. I'm going to leave this one out. It has my heart right now and I just made it like a day ago or whenever uh, this week. Uh, it's in my monthly box. So okay we're not going to use this. I'll put it back in my happy. Well I'm going to leave it out because Often when I do this, and I'm going to put this with it, often when I do this, uh, there is a pile of stuff left over and I like to make a page out of it. Now see this, okay, the houses are not wooing me. Now see, this is kind of fun as an ad. We could cut this off. We could use just this background. Um, She's cute, but not amazing. The houses are okay. <laughs> we could we could do the houses and then like the balloons coming out of it like up, huh? Hmm. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, I'm just not in love with the houses. I don't know what it is because it's October. That's why. And I love this spooky little girl who's way entirely too big for my page, but that's okay. Now let's work on notepad. Oh my gosh. And we still have this little envelope, which I'm okay with color wise right now. It's not perfect, but it's okay. <laughs> we could, we could change it. Um, let's see if there's something in here. This will also be something that determines what we use because it's from Australia. So we need to use something in here. I really like this, but it doesn't quite go. Um, so amazing. Um, Let's see, there were some pieces behind. I like this a lot. That one's kind of fun. Does that one match at all? Oh, those are the same. I mean, piece of paper, right? Those are interesting. Okay, that one's really pretty. Um... Some of these I've used everything. <laughs> They're all empty except for the little cards. Um, 
Now I could use this one because it literally says Australia on it. Oh no, it says S truth. Um, oh, well, that would be kind of cute in the envelope, huh? Okay, I like that idea. Let's, I'm just checking. These are all white, like a little bit lighter than, um, yeah. Okay, so I think we'll use one of these. Excuse me for one second. My daughter's texting. Um... Uh, I apologize, you guys. All right, I'll leave that out over here because I'm sure she'll text back again. All right. Um, so right now, this is kind of what... <laughs> I like this one with the thing on it, but... Okay, don't know. We also need a notepad, and I feel like ooh, there's a lot going on on this page already. A lot. I like the witch. I also like these guys. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be, but let's go. Let's go. I'm going to, I don't plan out my pages very much. So let's, um, let's see where we're at. 31 minutes. Haven't done a dang thing. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Let's do that. I'm going to take this corner because that's the easiest way to line this up. Okay, and then we'll Trim off these edges. You guys, I am just, I'm, I'm just behind. I'm thinking, do I want this in my journal for today? Sometimes because I'm behind, this page will go on the date that the prompt was supposed to be on, right? Which is last Wednesday. <laughs> so sometimes when I do this, I take a piece of what we created today and I put it, um, on the actual page in my journal to kind of document, you know, that that's what we did today. Okay, we have nine prompts. We've done one. <laughs> We've done one. Let's see, wrapping paper. Okay. All right, now I do have lots of round things and I think that's round things. We could just cheat and use it as both. This is fun punches, but see, we're going to lose it if we, like they're not going to show up as much, but I just punched everything. This is the back of a calendar, right? Just my old drop cloth thing under here. Interesting. Okay, I love these, but again, they might not even show up now. They're so delicate. Look at this this die cut. I, oh, this is what die cuts do, especially when you cut them out of magazines. Do you see how flimsy that is? But what fun because of all the colors and the prints and stuff, and they don't even show up when you die cut it, right? Um, or punch it. These are punches actually. Um, look, look at this. Is that not so fun? I mean, those are actually kind of cool. I mean, we could do the white. We could just 
Those are actually kind of th fun. Hmm. Okay. I kind of like these, but I had the other one that was the Happy Meal. So I'm not going to use these. I'm going to put them back in my bucket. I'm not going to use these. I'm going to put those back in the bucket. All right. This one is super fun. This was a um, Happy Meal. Okay. Now that won't show up unless we put it on a background, but we have lots of layers still to go. Okay. So let's get this wrapping paper glued down. This wrapping paper is so thin, you guys. It's like totally cheap wrapping paper. All right. We're going with embossed. And so I think this is going to go somehow on here. I don't know how small I can get her. Let's, let's see what I can do in terms of not fussy cutting, but like messy cutting her and this cute little kitty cat. I like, I, <laughs> um, I just like the image. Um, I feel like I've done this a couple times. I, I tend to cut off some of their body or something like, see, this is part of her robe, but you don't, you don't need any of this. I think we get the gist of what she's doing without that. Right. We could even cut this bow off her hat, but it's very cute. So we don't necessarily, Ooh, I almost cut off the whole hat. All right. So we'll do that. Let me um, pick up my little trash bucket here a little bit. Okay. So I, I have a couple ways to play with this. I, I only have a bit of this on this paper. Now, some of you are going to be really mad at me for covering it. I know. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, either way, we're going to do that. I mean, that side works too. Hmm. That's interesting. Like with the trim. Hmm. I don't think we have that much room to play down here because we could put her up here. I think we need our little envelope to go. Oh, that little envelope is bigger than I realized. <laughs> I mean, we could do something like that. We don't have to, we could put her like this. I don't think this is going to make the cut. Um, okay, so I'm kind of doing that. If I do the blue side, it would look... More like that. I guess I like that side. I, I actually really like the other side, but um, hey, here's round also. <laughs> I think that once my brain kind of sits in something, like it starts pulling similar items, right? I mean, that's kind of, that would make sense. So um, she could go somewhat like that. I'm working on this corner right down here and kind of now we don't have to use the whole piece. We could move her all the way up. We could, we could do lots of things. We could just completely. I'm just playing. I don't know. And everybody, this is the fascinating part. And I know I've talked about it before. If I gave the exact five pieces or nine pieces to, to each of you, the exact ones, even if I cut them out, right? Um, we would all use them differently. And I love that so much. Okay, so there is kind of the cream behind it. We could put her up like that. Um, we could fold this down. So, <laughs> so it actually looks like a sealed envelope. That's kind of fun too. 
Um, we could do something like this. It also doesn't have to go the long way. It could go this way. That looks too separate. Like I think I want the back, this piece to tie in. This looks like a thing here and a thing here. So I think I want it to go long to at least connect or somewhat connect the two, right? Okay, so I'm liking that. I don't like this. So on the blue side, the option is that corner because I'm going to run it long or this corner. I mean, I could cut it shorter. That's definitely an option. We could do that. That doesn't bother me as much. It kind of looks like it ties in. We could do something like that. We're only on like three prompts, you guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, we could use. Oh, gosh. Okay, we have our ad. I'm going to use the little witchy girl. So we're going to cross her off. And we have our envelope. And we have embossed. We're definitely going with stars because that's an easy one at the end. Um. I don't know. We might have to add some scraps. to. Oh, I know. I'll add scraps. Okay, we're going to use scraps. We're going to do stars and we're going to add scraps because those are kind of cheater ones for me. We're totally going to do that. Um, Australia, we're going to use. I mean, we're not going to use the scorecard and I don't think we're going to use the stamps. Now, I mean, I chose scraps because it's an easy cheat one. We could use one of these um, stamps because we have this little envelope that looks like it's actually closed envelope now. I mean, we could choose, look how dang cute these are. Like a cute little stamp, even though it's like the backside. That is so stinking cute. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. From New Zealand. Whoa. Okay. Um, oh, this one looks kind of spooky like her castle. Does not show up as well, huh? This one is cool. Um, this guy's too big. Okay. I'm getting stuck on the little envelope here. Look at the hearts. Stamp is, I like the castle. This one's kind of castle-like. And it's the right colors, I think. And this one's like birds, so we're not going to use that one. Okay. Um, interesting. Now, I... Um, mm, I'm pulling this for two reasons. So let me, okay, we are going to do this. We're going to cut this off because it's fat. You guys, I've had this in Happy Mail forever. Deidre made, made this for me like at, probably two years ago. Not too sure. We'll save that. And this little envelope now can go down here. Okay, so we're going to make that um, decision right now. I'm going to put a piece of tape at the bottom. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge and an edge. Okay. I have some wiggle room here. It's if we want to tuck or do something else. Okay. All right. Okay. So we've used envelope. Now, notepad is interesting. I have, I have these notepads out. However, However, I think I'm going to cheat, not cheat, I'm not cheating, it's, there's no rules, I'm not cheating, I'm changing. And we're going to use 
New Zealand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because right there it says New Zealand. Now, what does this one say? I have no idea. Huh. So I think we have to use this one because it says New Zealand on it. Okay. So we're going to use the stamp not as S, not as S, but as New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> we're doing it. We are totally doing it. Even though the envelope is kind of backwards, right? It looks, it's the back of the envelope. I get it. I do. But we're going to, we're going to pretend that this is our little envelope. Okay. Now here's our embossed piece. And here is our little ad. I actually don't. Okay, so we've used New Zealand, and I don't have to use my notepads, okay? So that takes off something from the page because it goes right there, because I was going to maybe tuck the notepad in. Now, I mean, we could have ran that notepad all the way down the, well, we don't need to now, but um, this can now go in here. And it could go this way. You see, I'm still fussing with that, right? Okay, just so we're all clear what I'm doing. <laughs> mm, I really don't like that. Okay, I think I have to cut these stupid balloons off or something. They're really, really bothering me now. Unless I'm going to drop her down enough. Okay, maybe we're going to do it that way. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay. I know I just put the tape away. You're like, Allison, you keep reaching for the dang tape. We're going to do this. Did you see it peel that wrapping paper right up? Because it's so, there it goes. Um, it's just so this paper was delicate to begin with. It's like, you know, really inexpensive journal paper. And then I ran it through the embosser and it, it cuts right through it sometimes. Which is cool. If you ever want to tear it, it'll tear right on one of those design lines. Kind of give you a weird, cool edge, right? All right, let's do that. Um, all right, now this beauty is going to, get some glue and find her way onto this page. Now we get one shot at this. It's super thin paper. So I'm gonna, uh, Literally hate that corner. Okay. Okay. There she is. Let's do a check. Let's do a check. We used our ad. We used wrapping paper. We've used Australia because the little card is in the pocket. Um, round things is interesting because the wrapping paper has round things. We're not going to quite use that one. Envelopes on there. New Zealand's on there embosses on their stars and scraps stars and scraps and round things now here's what I'm going to do with scraps see all these scraps I have right I, I mean I just literally pulled them from my desk I could pull more if you you know need them <laughs> let's we're just going to make some um tabs on the I know I do it all the time you guys I know we each Um, we kind of each have a commonality in our pages, I guess. Is, is that a good way to say it? Um, like similar things on our page we do. Is that, a, I don't, I'm not even speaking well today. Let's see. Um, is that where I want it? Sure. 
Okay, so let's make that our length. And we'll do some fun tabs. Now, does this one go? Not really. Could it go? Sure. Where do we want the colors? We want the red. The blue's a little weird, so we'll do something like that. And what about this one? Oh, that's a fun, that's a fun color because of the background, right? We also have orange on the other side. So we could use that side. These are actually too long, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make them work. Um, I'm going to take a piece. Oh, I really like this ledger. I really like this edge. Look at this. I'm going to take this piece right here because I'm going to use this for something else. And this is a beautiful piece of paper. Do we need this as a, we'll take a piece of it. I'm going to cut. And then this is a fun piece. This is actually torn. We'll tear another piece. You're like, Allison, you're going crazy. Crazy with the scraps. Okay, so let's, uh, I don't think, I don't, I think my tiny attacher's jammed, but we'll try it. And if not, we gotta go back to regular old staples. Okay, so this one's fun. We're just gonna, I think it's on the side of my desk because it's like broken or jammed or something. I, if my memory serves me correctly, I may have spent some time and fixed it. I, I'm thinking I did not. Let's just... Um, yeah, it's not working, even though it has staples in there, and I don't know why. If any of you, well, I probably have to watch a YouTube video on how to fix the tiny attacher stapler thing. That's why it's over there. Okay, and what color do we have in here? We have green, which I don't want, and this one should be regular then. How many staplers do you have on your desk? Eh, fair question. I have three currently, I think. That's all. All right, let's don't care that it's crooked at all. Don't care. Um, the question is, do we want the blue or the orange on this one? Um, blue. Oh, that one. That one. Um, I'm having a little bit of a panic at the moment because, um, I may have made this the wrong side of the page. There's a strong, well, there's a 50-50 possibility <laughs> that I just put these on the wrong side of the page and designed this page backward. There's a strong possibility I broke my stapler is what just happened. Egads, are you serious right now? What is going on? Um, what's happening? How many stapler problems can you have in one day? All right. Oh, the red staples are fun. So are the copper ones, huh? Come on, little stapler. Oh, it's really mad at me. Let's see if you're in the mood. Why, why are you mad? Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, 
we're going to fold it. I want this edge, right? So we're going to fold it a little differently. This one's kind of brown. So this was brown and then color and then brown. And I'm not too sure. Here's a blue. And we might do an orange. Sure. And no, we're not going all the way down the page. All right, we're going to take this piece of brown. Or do we want this piece? No, I like this one. You could glue these on. That would be... Um, completely appropriate and maybe easier at this point in my life. I'm not too sure. All right. And then we're going to take this little guy and staple him on right there. In fact, we're going to glue him first. So he's not fussing with me. Okay. Like that. And then do we want one more? I don't think I do. Um, oh, and we had, where's the little ledger piece? Oh, here's the ledger piece. Mm, we'll do this side. I don't think it matters. I guess they are going to go all the way down the page. All right, I'm going to tuck it behind the envelope. And then we'll do this one. I guess I guess they are covered. Do we want the orange and the red? Or do we want the blue? I guess we'll go blue. Okay. All sorts of life decisions being made today. Okay. Whoops. So this takes care of one of our S's we're using scraps and then I'm going to go ahead and glue them on the or staple them on the uh, glue obviously makes it easier let me get you in here just a little bit more okay so let's check it we've used the ad we use the wrapping paper we've used Australia oh we could put a little we could put a little tab right here. Um, we could put this little scrap right there to let people know. And I'm going to staple that on as, whoa, don't get fussy with me. I try not to staple and stuff on here, you guys, because my camera's on here and I know you guys get jostled. So that's why I, okay. Um, okay, that's fun. Let's make sure you're staying where you need to be. Okay. Let's go back. Add wrapping paper Australia. We're still missing round things. Okay. I could have made the scraps round things. <laughs> like see that tab? I could have punched round things. Ugh. Okay. We didn't do that. Envelope we used. New Zealand is this cool stamp. Embossed is this piece of paper. Stars we're working on and scraps. Uh, we just used for the tag. Okay, so round things. Let's, um, I mean, I am in love with this. Now, did I leave enough room to, but I don't like it on there, so it's not going to get used. Okay, round things. See, we could tuck some of these, like we could play with kind of this. Isn't it cool, you guys? I dig on this die. Um, 
should have put it behind her. Should have put it behind her. That's what I get for not planning out my page. Um, look at that one. Oh, it's kind of like the moon. I hear you. I hear you saying, Allison, you're pushing it. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Um, where's my dental floss? I am working with a delicate paper and a delicate paper. It's and the glue is doing a fabulous job of doing what it's supposed to do. So but this is pretty much how my pages normally go. So, all right. So we have this kind of cool moon like round thing. I kind of like that. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Let's get out the Tombow. Um, I could cut the circle. I know you guys are like, Allison, just cut the circle. Duh. But it's going to go right there. It's going to go right there. All right. Let's glue this down. Oh, you guys, I love it. Now, granted, we have plenty of round things on this page. We have round here. We have round here. But we're going to add a little bit more just because we can, right? Now, this is so delicate. And unfortunately, my other little glue things are not working. So we're going to have to work with what we have. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, oops, same magazine, right? Now, this is the orange side. This is more this side. Uh, I think we'll do this side. I'm going to put some glue on here and then we're going to have to let this dry because I can not get it perfectly on there. And so it will ooch out a little bit. Okay. Yep. And a little bit of this one here. Um, there. It goes there. Now, interestingly enough, you see I loved this design. So could we have made it work? Of course. Of course we could have. But all right. Now, I do have um, a little bit of green. But that's not, that's like too much. I feel like it needs one more. I'm, I love this die so much. I'm just going to do it. I mean, I don't know. It'll get, it's hanging off the edge of my paper. And again, we're going to pray. We are going to just hope right now that I chose the right side. Now I'm going to glue her down with some better glue and apologize to the kitty cat. All right, those will all get put away there. Now, now, this is exciting. Okay, round things is done. And we just have stars left, you guys. So exciting. Let me put my markers back in their little house. We'll put the glue away. Although, well, I'll deal with that later. Um tape away and my glue stick away. Um, these little these little stars, they are self adhesive on the back. But I, I will I will say they're not mm, they they might need some glue. <laughs> we'll try it like we will put them on here. And if they don't hold or stick or whatever, we will um, 
come back and add some glue. Okay. See, they're just so old. They're just, I'm not too sure how long the adhesive is supposed to last, but um, yeah. Ah, see, we might need to glue these. Maybe they'll dry. Not too sure. So I think it's fun when you go to, you know, the thrift stores to always look in their office supplies. Some of them don't have a craft section, you guys. So, um, you know, office supplies, I often find, obviously, notebooks and that sort of thing. And I found these little stamps or stars. All right, we're going to do, I think, one more. You guys, I love it. I love her. I'm not too sure. Well, we'll do one more. See what I did with that corner? Don't like a corner? Just cover it up. <laughs> and we'll put one right there. Okay, those, I have, I have minimal, minimal confidence in uh, those stars holding. But <laughs> they will they will be fine for today. They will be fine for today. All right, there we are. Um, we'll put that right there so you guys can see. Uh, there's the hashtag inspired the number two create underscore 2023. The word today was awareness and we are in the last week of October. I'm sorry, the third week of October, and um, we used an ad, wrapping paper, something from Australia, round things, an envelope, New Zealand, embossed stars, and scraps. You guys, I'm super stoked with this. I, um, I always enjoy the process, so that's the whole reason we decided to do it. I want to thank all of you for watching. I want to thank all of you for participating in any way. I love your comments. I love it when you try the prompts. Um, I also want to say thank you to all the sweet people that have sent me happy mail over the years. But today, uh, I know sweet Kylie Gray sent me this pocket letter from Australia. The New Zealand, please forgive me. I don't know. And I don't know if that's from Lydia or from somewhere else. Someone else sent me the New Zealand stamp. So thank you. And I know sweet Deidre sent me that envelope. You guys, thank you so much. It's been a blast. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Let me know your thoughts. And I don't know. Go try it. I would love to see what you come up with and what you choose for your prompts. Have a great week. And I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.